Shalom, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashimi Havashai, Ba'ashimi Kakwadash, that by honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And this lesson is going to be entitled, The Most High Preserve Those That Are Appointed to Die, in reference to Psalms 79 and 11. And uh, the dream I just had, as you may hear my voice, that you know, I just woke up, and um, in this dream, you know, it's uh, it's a heavy dream to me at least because, you know, before I was going to sleep, I wanted to do a lesson on how merciful how by Shimmy how shy is, you know, and um, you know, I couldn't think of any precepts, and then I was also looking at the brothers out there in Virginia. One of the brothers had made a beautiful point of how we really got to dive into these words, you know. So I say all that to say that the Lord, you know, puts us through situations, very memorable situations, in which makes a scripture that we may have been pondering on come to life, you know. So in this dream, I was with the Akim. And, um, you know, it's kind of like we are moving here and there, but the most important, well, one of the most important parts, because it was actually a pretty good dream, one of the most important parts um, was, it was weird, like, we were sitting in this traffic jam, there was a few brothers behind me, I believe it was one brother in front of me, and then in front of that brother was this, like, older Puerto Rican-looking lady. And I'm guessing, you know, we had exchanged words earlier in, in the dream because while we were sitting in this traffic jam, she just got up. She had came up to my car with this like Molotov type thing to where if it would have lit up, you know, because she had held it in front of my car, like right next to my windshield. She's going to light it on fire and throw it on my car, you know, and brothers seen it, you know. But my reaction was like stunned, you know, just sitting there, stunned. So I want to say either begin to light up or it didn't light up at all, which I want to say was the first one because I smelled like, I smelled like, like smoke, you know? So I want to say begin to light up and then out of nowhere, it was like quailed, you know, it just like stopped, you know? And brothers were screaming in the background. I was screaming like, oh, please, y'all about to me, y'all was shy. Because you know how, like, sometimes things may hit you. But the reaction of other brothers was like, wow, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, kind You know, it really hit me. Like, y'all about to me, y'all was shy. God, he has us, man. You know? And um, we cannot be afraid of any threats, any death. Because it's of the Lord, whether we live or die, man. You know? Hey, the brothers over here in the New Jersey camp, you know, when we used to camp downtown. um, You know, when we used to camp downtown or whatever. It was many times guys would say, all right, keep talking that shit. I'm going to come back and hear this shit out. Never came back. You know, so it's not a point to men, all right, whether we live or die. It's of the Lord. Deuteronomy 32 and 39 reminds us of that. All right. So this is Psalm 79. I'll start at 9. Help us, O God, of our salvation for the glory of thy name and deliver us and purge away our sins for thy name's sakes. Wherefore should the heathen say, Where is their God? Let him be known among the heathen in our sight by the revenging of the blood of thy servants which is shed. Alright? And the Lord is going to open up on this world. And we're going to need him, alright, to cover us. Let the sign of the prisoner come before thee according to the greatness of thy power. Preserve thou those that are appointed to die. 
okay, from this flesh, all right, how we eat and poison and live, you know, it's on the physical, if we were to get shot, you know what I'm saying, if somebody tried to hurt us, hurt our loved ones, you know, which are under us that we pray for and stuff like that, it won't come to pass because the Lord don't allow it. And when we pray, you know, you pray over your loved ones, you pray for yourself. You know, we got to remember that, you know, and if some may come to pass to where it tries to shake that faith, you got to put it back in your mind. Like, fuck that. I prayed to Yahweh by Shimei Awashai and it will happen. So I says, let the sign of the prisoner come before thee according to the greatness of thy power. Preserve thou those that are appointed to die. And render unto our neighbors sevenfold into their bosom their reproach, wherewith they have reproached thee, O Lord. You know, and if I'm not mistaken, she was looking real dumbfounded, you know, and she never tried it again. You know, it's like the spirit, that spirit left her, you know, you, it, it was, she was moving to, as if she was like possessed. You know, but then the spirit left her when she see it ain't worked. So it says, and render our, unto our neighbors sevenfold unto their bosom their reproach, wherewith they have reproached thee, O Lord. So we thy people and sheep of thy pasture will give thee thanks forever. We will show, show forth thy praise to all generations. You know, and we're going to go from glory to glory, as the scriptures say. Let me see if I can grab that. Because... Here it is, Esau. He's literally playing with our lives, man. You know, with this experimental punch. All right, seeing who dies off of it. You know, who doesn't. You know, um, taking away the living of the people. All right, just giving you just enough to survive. Feeding you GMOs. All right. So it says, um... 2 Corinthians 3 and 18. All right. So we are appointed to die on that note. And, you know, the Lord is having us come Jacob's trouble. All right. When he lets out the full fledge of his, his anger, his wickedness, we are appointed to die on that note. You know, and then the Most High is going to turn the tables. You know, we're going to be playing with Esau. We're going to be playing with Esau's life in the kingdom. All right. Brothers meditate terror as far as. Particular or gladiator games, you know, I always say, hey, in the kingdom, when um, every day Esau has to get up and come come to work, all right, I'm going to put him through a new obstacle course, just as we, you know, brothers that drive him to work or whatever, just as you every day basically got to drive through traffic, lights and all this, you know, potholes and all this other crap, Esau's going to. He's going to have to learn a new obstacle course every single day. And then he better make it to work on time. All right. So this is 2 Corinthians 3 and 18. But we all with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Okay. So reading these scriptures, understanding these scriptures... And then receiving what these scriptures say is all a part, is all written in our lifespan. Okay. This is Psalms chapter 115, verse 1. Not unto us, O Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and for thy truth sakes. Wherefore should the heathen say, where is now their God? But our God is in heaven. Ye have done whatsoever ye have pleased. All right. And into his name will receive the glory. That's why every time we open our mouths before we do a lesson, we give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is who the world normally calls God. Yahweh Shai is who the world normally calls Jesus Christ. And remembering that there is no God beside them. And every other God, all these other religions, they're going to fail. All right, you see what happened over there in India to where those Indians were destroying their false idols because it could not save them for some as weak as COVID. So how much more, you know, when famine and pestilence and earthquakes, 
you know, and terrorist attacks and nuclear missiles hit, man. In Job, it tells us that the Most High will deliver us from seven troubles, okay? But our God is in the heavens. He hath done whatsoever he hath pleased. The idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses have they, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. They that make them are like unto them. So it's everyone that trusteth in them. O Israel, trust thou in Yahweh. He is their help and their shield. You know, and we look forward to we look forward to the fame that Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is going to give us through his name. Alright? And that's what we pray too. At the end of the day, Baba Kusha, Yahweh Bashim Yahusha come through for us. You know, we hope in the Lord judges these people off of us. You know, which he's doing it through the spirit of his mouth. You know, just waiting for the spiritual powers. All right. As scriptures say, all those who would not have that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. So it says, O Israel, trust thou in Yahweh, he is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in Yahweh, he is their help and their shield. You that fear Yahweh, trust in Yahweh, he is their help and their shield. Yahweh have been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. All right. And it's a process to it. You know, it's a time to where. Let's lock it one second. It's a time to where we're going to be on the bottom being persecuted. And then it's going to be a time to where. We on the top, like King David. All right, I was trying to see real quick. Slock you one second. So I, I think I left my Bible in the car, but I'm trying to see um, who wrote that Psalms. I know most of the times it's King David, but I just want to make sure. But nevertheless, let's read on. Um. When we look at King David's life, that was he had a portion of time to where he would be persecuted for seemingly like no reason. And there was a time to where he prevailed. He actually became king. You know. So it says the Lord have been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless them that fear Yahweh, both small and great. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. You are blessed of Yahweh, which made heaven and earth. All right. So we're just looking for those blessings, man. In any way, that's why we got to continue to read to understand our lifespan. What's to come for us? You know, it tells us what has happened. It tells us why we're here. It tells us what's happening, and it tells us what's going to happen. You know, hey. So with that, hey, stay prayed up, man. Guys, pray. All right. So we can um. So we can um, as it says in Ephesians six, combat the wiles of Satan. So with that, shalom to the elect.